Hey, what's up guys? Daily challenges, Madden Nazar's location, and collect the challenges for group one. Here we are in Cumberland Forest. I just spawned in. What do we have here? Tons of elk as far as the eye can see. Not one of them yesterday. I hate how they nerf things on challenge days. So I'm assuming today with foxes, you're probably going to have the same issue. You'll probably see plenty of them tomorrow. Not any today. So we have alligators, crustacean, fox. We have free roam events, showdowns. Visit Bulger Blade. Madame Nazar is over here, and I got a serious question for you guys. How many of you really need to know what Madame Nazar is every single day? Alright, so for Crustacean, you're going to be able to get these from crabs. A couple locations, these islands to the west of Rhodes are going to be probably your best bet. If you don't find them during the day, maybe stick around until nighttime. If you need a second option, these islands over here in the St. Louis River could be a safe bet for you. Now, if you guys are looking for fox, I like to go to this area along the train tracks. Although they usually are everywhere, every day. Obviously today, they're going to be pretty scarce to find. Here are some other good locations. Good luck with these. I have a feeling they're going to be a pain today. So for alligators, if you spawn in and you don't find any, if you have some predator bait, go to one of these islands here in the bayou, throw some down, and uh, wait, you know, 20, 30 seconds. You can see I had a couple alligators spawn in. One of them was actually swimming away from where I put the predator bait after I shot his buddy. So that's a good tip, might work out for you, but here are plenty of locations you can go to. So for collected challenges, we have group one. Keep in mind, these locations will switch to the next group, 7 p.m. Eastern time. We're gonna start out at McFarland Ranch. You'll be able to get arrowheads, flowers, heirlooms, and dig sites. First two locations are gonna be flowers. Then we move on to a dig site with a family heirloom, followed by another flower. An arrowhead at this spot, you have a tarot card down at the dock. Another dig site, which should have an arrowhead. Then we move on to another dig site with an heirloom. You have a coin here, another dig site with an arrowhead. And then in tall trees, you have a tarot card, another dig site with a family heirloom. And then at Quaker's Cove, you'll find a tarot card. If you need some more stuff, these next couple clips, you'll be able to get tarot cards, jewelry, coins, dig sites, heirlooms, arrowheads, and flowers. First location is a family heirloom dig site, followed by a half eagle coin. Then we have a piece of jewelry, another piece of jewelry. Next two spots should be arrowheads here and there. Then we'll be able to find ourselves a coin, a tarot card, piece of jewelry, or an arrowhead. Then we have a couple tarot cards coming up here and here. Another item, which should be a piece of jewelry, although it can be an arrowhead. And then, Dewberry Creek is kind of random, usually different items. At this location, you'll be able to find something. I can't guarantee you what it'll be, because it does randomize frequently. Same thing with these locations in Dewberry Creek. It's always random items for me. You can find a arrowhead dig site here, a piece of jewelry. These next three locations are going to be flowers. Followed by another item down at the dock, which could be a coin, could be jewelry. These next four locations are flowers. And then as we make our way into Ringneck Creek, you have a 1789 penny, followed by a creek plum just north of it. And then if you need another dig site or an arrowhead, here is one at this spot right here. And if you need to fulfill your challenges and you're missing some random items, there is a coin here, an heirloom at the saloon, followed by another heirloom and a tarot card, and then two more tarot cards just at these locations here. Next, we move on to alcohol bottles and eggs. Alcohol bottle at this spot, west of Van Horn. You can find an egg here, as well as there. An alcohol bottle here. Three eggs at this spot. Alcohol bottle in the dining room on the first floor in Braithwaite Manor. Another alcohol bottle there. Three eggs here. Minto's Rest, you have an eagle egg. And then these last two spots are going to be alcohol bottles. Appreciate you guys watching. Good luck, and I'll see you next time.